Hey, Rob here, response review. Justin Bieber in a restaurant using a mop bucket as a urinal, then cursing one of our former presidents of the United States. This is certainly not the way to, to conduct yourself, Uncle Bieber. What are you thinking, man? God has a plan for your life. You used to serve Jesus Christ. You were a Christian. Your mom's a sold out Christian. Your mom, Patty, has confessed Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior now. Friends, I come on here as a minister of the gospel. By the way, you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. Go for it. And, you know, it's no secret. I believe God has a special plan for Justin Bieber. I know for the most part his mom is a Christian. I believe Justin Bieber was brought up as a Christian. But he's acting crazy, man, driving around with his you know, quarter of a million dollar Ferraris and, you know, different girlfriends. One Victoria's Secrets back with Selena Gomez, off with Selena Gomez peeing in buckets in the kitchen. It's crazy, man. But listen, you can always still turn your life around. It doesn't matter what you do yesterday. It matters what you do tomorrow. The reality is, is God's the God, not of a second chance, but the second million chance. God's a God of grace, mercy, compassion, kindness, most of all, love. The Bible's very clear about the love of God. It says in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son as a gift, that if you would believe and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you would never perish, but you'd have everlasting and eternal life. And, you know, God desires no one to perish under the sound of my voice. He wants us all to have the insurance that when we all take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven a home. And the only way we can have that, again, is by having our lives surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And remember, God comes by invitation only. The Lord will never crash, knock, or blow the door down to your heart. God gave us a free will. God didn't create robots. So you can accept them out of obedience or reject them out of disobedience. But know this, friend. You control the doorknob to your destiny. You, you control the doorknob whether you spend it eternally with God in heaven was separated from God in a place of burning hell. Uh, that's there. There's a literal hell. Jesus taught about it in the Bible. Hey, if you've never accepted Christ, you want to recite a simple prayer after me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Give me your comments on how Justin Bieber's been behaving. I'm still believing God to turn his life around that he's going to get a hold of the Lord and just start living for Christ, living for God, living for Jesus. Friends, remember, God has a mighty and a wonderful plan for your life. Don't ever forget that. Trust in the Lord today. Be blessed.